So, um, yesterday in the hospital, um, I was unhooked from my IV around 9 o'clock, I guess. Um, so, I was actually free to walk around and do stuff, and it was really nice. Um, I didn't do much of anything yesterday morning. Um, I was tired of being in bed, so I sat in the chair in the room. Um, I still didn't have any pain. It's kind of like a soreness that you get after doing too many crunches or sit-ups or holding the plank pose for too long. Um, but it's not painful at all. Um, I still have my drains in. I won't get them out until next Tuesday, the day of the Incubus concert. Um, I think the most, like, soreness I have is from the actual drains. Um, and they're a pain in the ass. I have to, uh, empty them out three times a day. Um, and I have to milk them before I empty them out. Um, but they taught me how to do that yesterday and how to change my bandages. Um, my staples look really awesome. Um, I didn't really know what to expect by being stapled shut instead of stitched up, but they are really awesome. Um, I'll probably try to show my drains and staples after I take a bath today. Um, uh, I had a two-hour ride home yesterday from the hospital. My husband came and picked me up and I was actually able to walk out of the hospital, around the hospital, and up some steps to get to my truck because he parked like right in front of the um, infant ward and nobody could get out of there, you know, like the fear of stealing babies or whatever and running out the door. So we had to backtrack and go out the front of the hospital. And um, I wanted to walk. I didn't want to be pushed in a wheelchair. Um, so I did, and I did fine. I wasn't winded or tired or anything. Um, it just felt really good to walk. Um, so yeah, two hour ride home. Um, I kept a pillow in front of me just to hold on to like whenever we hit bumps or anything because my stomach gets sore. It's not painful, it's sore. And um, the pillow helped a whole lot just by like holding it in front of me. Um, otherwise you're just gonna be grabbing your stomach in agony. Um, but yeah, we got home and it's just really easy to lay down in my own bed, um, sit on my furniture in the living room. And it's just really comfortable. I'm not uncomfortable at all. Um, I, right now, I'm in the kitchen on a tall bar stool, and I'm not uncomfortable. Um, my stomach is really swollen, and it kind of sticks out, and I can't suck it in, and it makes my back hurt a whole lot. Um, but, you know, it's just an achy hurt. It's not painful. Um, but I realized that my achiness might be extremely painful to somebody else. So, um, but yeah, um, I tried to take a bath last night, well, a shower. Um, I got my husband to take my, um, like, bandages off and everything like that so I could, um, clean my, my staple lines and um, around my drains, um, but I got really tired and dizzy and hot and I had to sit down on the toilet and I couldn't move. Um, so I just think it was from being up like pretty much all day long and a two hour ride home um, that really wiped me out. Um, I really can't wait to take a bath and wash my hair. My hair looks horrible and greasy. Um, I have to have my hair washed. 
Um, so I'm going to try again today when my husband gets home. He should get home in about two hours. Um, so then I won't be so tired and maybe I can actually get in there. Um, I think we might go to the vitamin shop today so I can get some of the nectar protein drinks. Um, um, drinking water, um, eating sugar-free jello, um, sugar-free popsicles, sugar-free broth, well not sugar-free broth, but um, beef broth, chicken broth. Um, I just started on my 16.9 fluid ounce of Propel about two hours ago and I'm almost done with it. Um, after I get finished with this, I'll probably eat some chicken broth. Um, since there's a soreness in my stomach, I don't really know if it's my pouch from being full whenever I drink stuff or eat stuff, um, but I'm sure once my drains come out, I'll be able to realize that it's a fullness from my pouch instead of just soreness from surgery. Um, but I don't want to drink or eat a whole lot right now. Anyway, I'm not hungry at all. Um, it's really awesome. Um, my husband, he fixed dinner last night here and ate it in front of me. And I mean, it smelled really good, but I had no desire to eat it. So that's, it was great. It was really great. Um, he felt really bad for eating in front of me, but you know, it doesn't matter because I don't care. Um, so yeah, um, that's my experience. I go back to school on Monday. I get my drains out on Tuesday, like I said. Um, hopefully today I'll be able to take a bath. Um, oh, um, if you have this surgery, get a body pillow. Uh, my husband got one for me last night, and it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, I had problems sleeping in the hospital because I can't really sleep on my back a whole lot because I have back pain anyway. Um, I was actually able to sleep on my side last night. Um, I know a lot of people can't sleep on their sides or stomachs for a while after surgery um, and I know I could probably sleep on my stomach last night if it wasn't for the drains um, but yeah um, the body pillow just kind of supports your stomach whenever you hold it and I was able to put a leg over it and it was just really comfortable um, I didn't wake up at all last night until about five o'clock this morning and I had to go pee and I went back to bed and I slept until nine. Um, and I feel really rested now and I'm not tired at all. I mean, I'm a little run down, but um, I feel good. I really do. Um, I know that there are some people out there that have horrible surgery experiences. Um, I had really wanted to take like a video in the hospital but my camera ran out of batteries um, the night before when I was taking my before pictures um, and we didn't have time to go get any more batteries so um, yeah that's just me saying that my experience wasn't bad at all um, I'm not in pain I know there are people out there that had excruciating pain with it um but i mean everybody's different every body is different um and if you're looking into having this surgery and are if you're about to have this surgery i wish you the best um i hope you have a pain-free experience like i did um my experience was awesome my surgeon is absolutely awesome um, the staff at my surgeon's office is awesome, and the nurses at the hospital were awesome. I just had a really good experience, and I wish you the same. Um, I will probably get back on here next week after I have my weigh-in on Tuesday. Um, I know I've probably lost some weight already. My face is a little bit thinner. Um, 
so yeah that's me and this is a long video and I'm gonna go read my magazines that came in the mail while I was gone so bye